Hey guys, <laughs> welcome back to another Coffee Time with Cobra. It is Monday. Mm. Oh. It is Monday, July 24th, 2023. It is 4.33 in the morning, which means I can't sleep for shit, but I'm still nervous about my hospital appointment uh, on the 31st. And uh, it's uh, messing with my mind. Having a hard time focusing on certain aspects and whatnot. And someone messaged me on um, Discord and asked me uh, if I could, in the Coffee Times with Cobra video, if I could. Uh, give my take on certain game news and, and do a little mini update kind of thing so I'm like, sure, why the hell not so, update one I am back to streaming uh, I did get my Deceptive Cobras channel back from Twitch thank you Twitch, uh, I am streaming over there, uh, I'm usually streaming Warframe, uh, World of Tanks uh, War Thunder just it whatever piques my interest right now it's seven days to die uh, single player um, that's a game I'll be talking touching more on here in this video but uh, yeah I'm so like I said I'm, I'm back to streaming I stream at about 6 37 p.m. UK time uh, that is my time and I go for about two to five hours it depends uh, on a whole host of factors one of which whether or not my annoying fuck fuck face annoying roommate is home or not because if a fucking mouse farts five five miles away he complains he must be the, the world's lightest sleeper i'm not even joking um so yeah there's that uh and this is why i need to move because i fucking hate him i will stab him in his sleep in fact you know what? no i will stab him in his face I will mercy that motherfucker if he if if we were in uh, uh, <laughs> if if we were in Z Nation I would mercy him in a heartbeat. Let me put it to you like that. Oh oh speaking of um I have been doing a watch along with my girlfriend Christina. I've been doing a watch along thing where we watch uh shows that we used to watch together when I lived in North Carolina. And one of them is um Van Helsing, based on the movie. Uh, Hugh Jackman is not in this. It's it's based on the Van Helsing bloodline. So you're talking, you know, modern day Van Helsing's, but uh, for some reason Hugh Jackman's character, who in the movie was all, almost two hundred years old and didn't look a, look look a day over thirty, uh, uh, apparently died of old age. So yeah. Uh, so anyway, the story arc is about a woman. Um, which don't care again, sh strong independent women don't don't care about that. Um, I, I I loved the entire show. Watched it from beginning t from season one to season five. Watched all of it with 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 the girlfriend, and we're watching them again. Only this time we also are adding in um, like uh, we we, we want to make our own like show where we take characters from other shows that we've watched. And from our post-apocalyptic show called Z Nation, uh, Doc, Ten K, Warren, uh, Murphy, um, you know, take some of the characters from that, but sprinkle them in into scenes in Van Helsing. There's a scene where Vanessa Van Helsing is being uh, 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 like like strapped down to a table and she's being interrogated by a vampire. And I'm like, could you just pick? Could you or could you not just picture Murphy tiptoeing across the back in the back, going, "Don't mind me, just trying to avoid some puppies and kittens." You know, <laughs> that's, that's what they call zombies in Z Nation is puppies and kittens. And um, <laughs> she, she, we, we both laughed so hard at that that we had to stop and rewatch the episode because we were just too busy laughing. And I thought to myself, why is that not a fan fiction? Why is that not a fan fiction? So. Uh, I'm letting my create. I'm doing a creative writing course on Allison, not affiliated, um, and so I figured I might actually try a little hand at merging those two shows and do an episode or two script-wise, 
and um, I know some of the actors from both shows are on Cameo and so uh, I was thinking about trying to get them to do some of the voice lines same as I wanted to do I want to do a voice pack or a complete overhaul mod for Left 4 Dead where you can run around as, as 10k Doc Warren and and Abby um, uh, sorry Addy Addy Carter and a whole bunch of other characters and whatnot in Left 4 Dead you know and um, so instead of them yelling out like zombies they yell out puppies and kittens and, and a whole bunch of other stuff and whatnot so yeah and if anyone asks we were nowhere near the Grand Canyon <laughs> I love that show. Show was amazing, um, but no, that's it. Like I said, it's just things. Life, life's going good for me right now. Life is going good for me right now. Other than my sleeping pattern's gone to shit because I'm I'm stressing about other stuff. But overall, um, out of a hundred, I'm probably about a good forty-five, which for me is a good thing. But normally, the last two weeks. I've been a 20 at best, I'm not even joking, um, even my therapist has seen, you know, ups and downs things, so they've been adjusting my medications and whatnot, and this is why a lot of people keep saying, keep saying, you know, uh, where are the, where's the videos, where's the, where's the streams and whatnot, uh, I have been in and out of hospital for tests and uh, a whole bunch of other stuff guys so i have not been able to get a schedule going again this is what i'm trying I'm, I'm i'm setting small little goals like goal one make your bed goal two uh, make a cup of coffee goal three get a shopping list together or, or do an inventory list of what i've got in my cupboards and my fridge and whatnot what what's about to expire what's not about to expire um what have i got excess of what do i need more of um, things of that nature um, then I take a look at you know what's my gym regimens okay Monday so like, you know and you know shower regimens are this this, this. I, I, I structure my entire days and uh, I'm taking a break currently from my cyber security course because I'm in it's a four-year course but I'm two years already into the course uh, I'm so far ahead of the rest of my class that my teacher and my therapist have both said that I need to take a break because otherwise I will burn myself out. It's not just burning a candle at both ends. This this is burning every part of the candle that can burn. Um, mostly because that's my ADHD. Um, my ADHD um, is a blessing and a curse because it allows me to it allows me to pick up something relatively simple, uh, really, 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 relatively quick. Um, but if I stop doing it, you know, and I try to do it again like a week later, my brain just goes right back to step one. It's like everything I learned beforehand just went and is gone. This is why cybersecurity for me is is something this is why i i go through yes i have put the course on hold but i'm still redoing i'm still retracing my steps to the point where um like my login credentials for my um my my, my test ply which is what this is this is a raspberry pi model b um with a uh, wireless adapter uh, a dual band wireless adapter excuse me and a bluetooth dual band adapter uh it also has um kali linux uh, on the sd and it has a small interface controller screen which means i use the joypad to you know i'm not sure if you can hear that but i use the joypad to move things around button a to confirm button b to um go back unselect etc etc so yes this does have its own little mini screen so to say when i'm using certain particular apps or, or programs um, but unfortunately it needs this huge power brick to work it does not work on a regular USB port because this needs a minimum of 3 watts uh, 5 volts at I think it's, three, it's 5 volts at 3 amps sorry as where you know most, most USB cords max out at 1.5 2 amps so 
this will complain that its USB ports are underpowered or, or etc. But it's doing really robust tasks. So that kind of sucks. But this is why I've always got, you know, uh, Raspberry Pis around me. Why I've always got other tech around me. Case in point, I've always got my, my Ponagotchi with me because I'm always doing stuff with my Ponagotchi. I'm always coding for it. I'm always upgrading the plugins. And everyone's like, you shouldn't have room to plan things. Sort of. Rule one when it comes to cybersecurity is those who have the most updated tech, the most updated software, win the battle. Okay? So you may have your stock default 1.5 Ponagotchi. Mine, okay, which is higher than 1.55. Okay, 1.55 is the highest Ponagotchi you can download from the depository, okay? But I have modified mine so much that it'll probably be about 1.6, 1.7. I've got upgraded plugins. I've got upgraded uh, uh, um, um, better cap. I've got upgraded so much. I've I've got HTOP. I've got a whole whole bunch of other different things on. It. Hell, this even has its own um, uh, uh, um, Docker stations and whatnot on there. So if I want to spoof a router or whatnot to steal people's login credentials or whatever, you name it. It's literally a walking, talking hacker's tool. Um, same as my Kelly Linux phone. Okay, I've updated this phone so much to the point where the internal storage is full, and this doesn't have an external USB, uh, an external um, uh, uh, micro SD slot. This Nexus P6 does not have any external um, micro SDs, so that sucks. So what I might do is wipe the phone and turn it back to a rig to a regular phone, and then look at upgrading one of these two to uh, my these are to my, my us phones these, these these are phones that run on a us gsm band system um again because i've still got programs and apps that are registered in the us they need a us phone number that's what these are for uh, these are considered roaming when i do power them on so, so why they're not always powered on because i'll chew through my minutes or my day or whatever so everyone's like why do you have us phone numbers so i'm like because the moment a hacker realizes i'm in the uk they're scanning for a uk phone number they're not scanning for a us phone number again misdirection uh so <laughs> exactly misdirection plus i also fix and repair phones um laptops um tablets you name it i've got a tablet over there that i i use just before i go to bed um has my um uh, cognitive mental health uh, cognitive uh, app in it where basically it's the two separate pictures that show up on the screen very clockwork orange um one will say a feeling or a color like it will say the word green but it'll be in blue if that makes sense so it's forcing my memory to read it's forcing me to read and not look at the color with one eye while showing me a picture of like a smiling child or a dog or whatever it's to help me shift uh, uh cognitive um ptsd uh, uh memory trapped memory issues um the way my therapist explained it to me it's quite quite ingenious so that's that but let's get back to the gaming so that's what i'm doing that's my health update as to why there's been no streams so let's get back to games um Ubisoft, you may or may not know, guys, if you've got an Ubisoft account, check it. The reason why I say this is because Ubisoft have recently sent out emails saying if you do not log into your Ubisoft account within the next 30 days, they will be deleting your account. That also means all the games that you have purchased with that Ubisoft license. Now, if you're me, you've purchased quite a few Ubisoft games in the past. All the Assassin's Creed's are done by Ubisoft. Um, all the Splinter Cells are done by Ubisoft. Um, so you can understand me being a huge, you know, a, a huge uh, Splinter Cell fan. And uh, I'm not really much of an Assassin's Creed fan, but I, I, the only, truthfully, truth be told, the only Assassin's Creed I like is Black Flag, which leads me into this, which is... That's right, Assassin's Creed Black Flag gets its first update in 10 years. Now, this article's on Game Rant. You can find it online. Just go to Game Rant and, and look at the, the game section. Uh, yeah, Ubisoft has released an unexpected update for Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, a game uh, first released a decade ago. I remember when I got this game. I got it uh, 
bundled in with one with my my graphics card and i remember streaming it and you guys were loving the whole sea chanties and sweet yeah yeah and i'm honestly thinking about re-downloading it and, and streaming it and as well as some of my splinter cell games because i've got every single splinter cell from the original all the way up to the very last one uh, i loved the conviction was the only one i had an issue with because conviction wasn't on pc uh, conviction you, you can emulate conviction on pc um but it has no bugs because uh, it originally came on xbox 360 um and uh, playstation 3 but uh, it never got a pc port as far as i know uh, and if it did get a pc port i'm gonna have to get me a copy of it because like i said i am a huge splinter cell fan and i'm sorry the fact that they changed rick to rick uh, they changed rick to ironside from doing the main character's voice um just just that's what killed the franchise for me personally uh, i grew up with uh, uh, uh with, with with victor ironside's voice you know as sam fisher and and they've also made sam younger you can't that that's not how that works if the tech in the, in the in in the game is more advanced than all the previous uh, uh splinter cells yet the guy who's supposed to be sam fisher looks like he's in his l late 20s early 30s that's no bueno no bueno but anyway so assassin's creed 4 gets an update uh mostly because ubisoft finally realized that there was a horrible uh memory leak that allowed uh, players on uh, to to use modified code. Um, in certain instances, it also stopped the game. Uh, basically, if you are like me and you're a, a completionist and you like to get 100% on on everything on your side quests, there was one side quest that you could never complete because it was a timed side quest, which means it go if you didn't complete the side quest by a specific date. Um, then you could never complete the quest and some people who had purchased the game after that date who are like me who are a completionist never got a chance to get that that achievement or or you know to, to truthfully say that they did 100 percent clear assassin's creed 4 and so they've now uh, retroactively removed that uh, with this patch as well as uh, there's rumors that they're going to be doing a black flag remake which i did report on in my live stream uh, if you haven't seen my live stream guys head on over to twitch it's twitch.com slash uh, twitch.com slash deceptive cobras and uh you know just hit the follow button i greatly appreciate it and uh, yeah the patch is anywhere between 12 megabytes on steam and 13 megabytes on ubisoft connect uh, a lot of people have already data diet data mined as to why there's a one megabyte difference between the two it has to do with the fact that ubisoft connect has to modify some of your back end connections as where the steam one does not so anyway that's the only difference between the 10 years uh, 10 years the 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 uh, one megabyte difference between the two uh a lot of people have downloaded both patches and again have a analyzed them both together with things like ada malware bytes and various other things like that so there is that guys uh otherwise there's also other tech news is going on uh yet sadly uh uh heroes and generals is no more uh, rip and pepperoni to heroes and generals the servers have completely gone they are closed they will never be reopened um a lot of people are wanting to know if it's possible if you can reverse engineer um, heroes and generals um, you in theory you could um, I don't know why you'd want to um, I, I really don't know why you would want to I mean technically you can still download the game it's just the servers are not responding so in theory you could if you wanted to reverse engineer the client and and uh, um i guess pseudo uh um I, I guess as you can see you know servers are no longer operational here's in general is two is no longer available as of the fifth 
2023. We thank you for playing our game and being part of the community and supporting us the past decade. The screenshot was done by Pandemics, one of my moderators, uh, an awesome dude. Uh, but like I said, there's nothing stopping you from downloading the game. And then um, probably you'd have to look at the actual launcher itself through IDA or something similar. I mean, I, I could try and, and figure out a way of, of, of retrofitting, retroactively making a um, SQL server and um, maybe making something with that. Um, but, you know, it, it really wouldn't be, it, it would be a monumental task. I'm not saying it wouldn't be easy, and it wouldn't, because one, I, I legally wouldn't own the IP, which means um, any time they could shut us down. Um, but bear in mind, because I'm reverse engineering how their code works it doesn't necessarily mean i have to use all of their code or any of their code i can say okay you are doing a call for this 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 and this well i can take all three of those four calls through this and in this and not even use anything related remotely sim similar to how their their backend network worked um I could change the. Uh, I, I could literally give the entire game a complete facelift, overhaul, uh, you name it. We could even modernize it and take it from World War Two to Vietnam or to wherever. Um, we could even flip it out and turn it into a Unity game or, or an Unreal game. Or, or um, you know, you could look at whatever engine you wanted to replace it with. Um, I know that the engine that they did use is an old engine done by Psygosis. Um, a company that's now defunct and, and you know it got bought bought out by um, oh god who did who did Psygosis get bought out by uh, let's take a quick look who owns Psygosis Psygosis Games is now owned by Sony Computer Entertainment. So I would have to go to Sony directly and say, hey, yo, Sony, um, what up? Can I get your source code for this? Which is an older source code for something that's probably defunct, which is the original Hitman 1. Um, yes, the... the, the, the engine that they used for heroes and generals was a very heavily modified engine same engine that was used for making hitman one so um i'm gonna end up finishing this stream with um now normally i, I finish this i i, I stream I, I normally finish these videos with well the coffee's done the video's done but i'm gonna end this video in a different way for you guys which is i'm gonna give you a game recommendation okay now, the reason why I'm giving you a game recommendation is because I think it's a game that you're going to get a lot out of, content-wise, as well as fun-wise. And that is... Da -da 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 -da, Battle Bit Remastered. Yes, guys. I think you guys are going to have fun with Battle Bit Remastered. It is an, is an early access game. However, it's not like Escape from Tarkov, okay? It, it, where, where Tarkov started off with, oh, you know... Here's a super, super limited pack that's not actually ever limited, period, because, you know, we were only going to limit it to 300, but in fact, there's now over 3,000 people that have the said limited account uh, uh, things, blah, 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 you know. But take a look. It uh, very similar is, as I've heard people call it Roadblocks COD uh, or Roadblocks Battlefield. Um, you know what, guys? I don't care. It looks fun. It, it genuinely does. Uh, I... I'm sorry, I'm a firm believer in I don't care what the game looks like graphically. Um, I care about the gameplay. And again, like I said, it has nothing but very positive reviews, period. And it came out on the 15th of this month. And guess what? You guys are actually going to see me buy it right now. Uh, add to cart and it's only £13, UK. Purchase for myself. 
There you go, though. Of course, you want me to love me the most. <sighs> Ready, bruh? Of course, of course, of course. Of course. Why wouldn't I? Sorry about this, guys. This is one of the things I, I love and hate about Steam. Is the uh, signing key, because apparently the, my, something's changed or whatever, and it's not fine. But at the same time, it also allows me to ignore my... So as yeah, Steam is installed, open Steam. All right, and so now I can go back to here and ta-da! There we go, Battle Bit remastered. In fact, we're going to put you in my my M.2, my new M.2 I just installed. So there you go, guys. I will be playing Battle Bit remastered here later on today on on Twitch. So, like I said, guys, if you guys want to hang out and and play with me and various other things or oh, don't forget guys i also do play a whole slew of other games as well uh let me just see what i've got here um i have recently got into mobile suit gundam uh, uh battle operations this is the playstation 3 port uh to pc so they're still using the playstation 3 controller layout which is a bit awkward for especially for a pc keyboard and keyboard and mouse player but it's fine uh, as you guys know, I'm a huge Gundam fan. I wouldn't say I'm a Gunpla model builder, but I do have a few. I have had a few mod, uh, Gundam model kits in the past. Um, before anyone asks, my favorite my favorite Gundam is uh, Death Scythe, um, Death Scythe Neo to be precise. Um, reason why it's Death Scythe slash Death Scythe Neo, De Death Scythe Scythe Neo, is because that was when I got into Gundam, and um, so yeah, that should tell you something. Uh, same as uh, Evangelios. Um, let's see, what else am I doing? Ah, ah, yes, 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 Netflix. Uh, what am I watching on Netflix? Uh, right now, again, there's Van Helsing. Uh, I've recently finished the whole of the Transformers Siege of Cybertron series, starting from uh, Beast Wars and up. Uh, again, because I'm just a geek like that, I love my, my, my Star Wars. Yakitori. This is an interesting animation, um... So if you are into uh, um, pseudo-realistic animation... Now, I would love to see a Star Wars uh, animation done very similar to, to Yakitori. Uh, it's very, 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 very uh, 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 realistic. Uh, Looks-wise in the humans' faces and things like that and whatnot. Um, of course, but like I said, uh, Last Hope. I've seen this before when I was living in the States. Uh, it just came here to the UK... Uh, same as Revelations. Again, I'm into my cyberpunk stuff. Um, not seen Masters of the Universe, and I'm not going to. Fuck you. Sorry. No. Uh, what else? Uh, Eden. As, again, I'm st I'm just upset at the fact that there's only four episodes of Eden, uh, and then it got shit canned um, because you know that's how Netflix is. Um, Daybreak, that's going to go nowhere. Resident Evil has been cancelled. There's no point in even watching those episodes. They're just, they're just a waste. Don't bother. Black Summer. Now, I initially thought that Black Summer, because Black Summer is also referenced in Z Nation many, many times, I thought that it was a spin-off of, of um, Z Nation when it actually isn't. It has nothing to do with Z Nation, um, which I thought was a bit of a letdown. Um, because I thought it would be a really cool spin-off if um, 
I think it would still be a really cool spin-off if they did did that. Uh, what else? Uh, I finished all of uh, uh, Altered Carbon. Um, Piggy Blinders, meh. Uh, I know, he, what, he just went meh about Piggy Blinders. Before you get your pitch, folks. Meh, as in I've already seen every single episode when it first aired. There's no point in re-watching that. Um, what else? Voyager, again, seen every single episode. I uh, don't like. I tried getting into the live action Cowboy Bebop. Sorry, the anime is 10 times better. Uh, stick with the anime. Um, what else? District 9. Always a good movie to watch. Set in South, set in South Africa. Um, you know, just a good all around movie. Um, <laughs> Paradise PD, if you are interested in an adult rated uh, 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 cartoon. And same as Brickleberry Falls, again, made by the same guys. Of course, you've got the Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Why, oh why, there is not another season, I do not know. But come on, guys, you need to, to do more with this. You, and I mean, you need to do more with, with the Cyberpunk Edge Runner series. I mean, I understand that most of the characters in Edge Runner are gone, but you are updating the game you have added new stuff to the game so come on people come on come on people you got to do something with this now bear in mind this is this is netflix uk so if you do get a vpn you know as you know vpns are always you know the best thing for you so get yourself a vpn and you know enjoy more content on your streaming platforms uh what else that's pretty much it that's all i really really been watching oh and i saw the uh russia uh, 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 uh the um kenshin series from one to one to three uh as you see right here one one two and three i've seen all three of those they're really good really good uh samurai seven again uh, a good anime series if you're into cyberpunk um story arc wise is a little meh but uh if you're into cyberpunk go for it seriously go for it um if you're a veteran like me of course black hawk down is definitely one of your go-to's that you like to like to watch if you're a veteran like me um let's see and that's pretty much it uh i don't really care about what's in the top 10 in the uk because any any movie can be put into the top 10 in the uk as long as they pay netflix enough uh that's that's a known fact um which is why i don't really care uh kingdom that was actually it, it 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 i've seen the whole of the first season as you can see i'm up to season two episode six it's a really interesting take on zombies uh in ancient china uh, in, in 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 ancient china um and i mean it's it's a good dubbed or or not it it is a good show there are some episodes that are dubbed there are some episodes that are not mostly because again this is a a independent asian filming company they are not associated with the ccp uh things that i've done a little bit of research into this in fact they've done a lot of the filming in mongolia and and, and uh, uh surrounding areas that so they can freely talk about dynasties and whatnot without fear of you know xi jinping and, and whatnot and stuff like that so Trust me, guys, if you really want to look at something just, just to watch, you know, uh, to have on the back, in, in the background, maybe, you know, just to try and get into, Kingdom is definitely one of them. Good shows, good shows. Uh, what else is there? There's uh, Age of Tanks was all right as a, as a, doc, a docuseries. It was all right. There was a lot of, of, of technical errors uh, in it. Uh, which as you guys know i'm a former tank driver you know there were some technical issues in there that uh, uh, really drove me up the wall um but it's not a bad series if you just want to watch something for a cut for a, a little while uh you know to kill some time while you're waiting for whatever um what else man on fire of course you know it, it's man on fire uh denzel washington amazing actor uh so yeah that, that's pretty much it um everything else right now on netflix is meh or skippable uh on amazon prime i don't think what am i watching on prime um 
let's see prime video let's take a look what am i watching on prime right now uh jack ryan yeah uh the new season of jack ryan season four uh it just hit the uk it hit, hit here yesterday i haven't seen a single episode yet as you can see season four episode one haven't seen a single episode yet invincible adam and eve i'm awesome that means that invincible season two has just hit the uk too that gives me some really cool stuff to watch and talk about in the next coffee time anyway guys i am gonna say do the typical coffee's done which means the video's done so until then guys i'll catch you in the next one